Okay, so first of all, you wanna decide on a topic. And like I said, whenever I took Jenna Kutcher's quiz on her website, which is jennacutcher.com, fabulous, fabulous businesswoman, has great things to teach us and to train us in all aspects of professional and personal development. Uh, it was um, like a, I think maybe a few questions, very easy, very fun. Uh, some had pictures, some were just text. And I decided that I want to do the same thing. And so I did some research and found out that there are different introvert types. I labeled them flavors. And I then researched each flavor. And plus with my knowledge of personalities, I then created categories for the questions. And so because there are four different flavors, I had the category and then I would have questions that fit each flavor. So if someone picked this question, that was a social introvert point. But then if they went to the next category and picked a different question, then that went into a different category. And then of course, setting it up so that the collection of answers provides the right answer or the right result uh, in the uh, website platform so that when people did it, they got the right answer, uh, they felt like they were being spoken to, and they felt like it was them. So it then provided me an opportunity to provide them material that they could use to uh, improve their game. And in fact, I have one person who literally memorized her results. Uh, I gave like bite-sized tips or tasty tips or something like that. Uh, I told them their strengths. I told them the potential weaknesses and how to overcome them. And she's literally memorized it. And it really helped her as an anxious introvert. So if you want to look and see what that looks like, you can take the quiz, even if you're not an introvert, uh, at SherryAnnWilson.com. So I have wanted to create a new one and I picked a topic that I knew I could research that would provide me distinct results that could serve those that take the quiz. So I decided to research the different brand personalities. So that's my topic. So you can, you know, what kind of, you know, business diva are you? What kind of um, crossfitter are you? What kind of cook are you? You know, whatever your genre, whatever your specialty, you can come up with a quiz, a topic. And uh, so this um, uh, is just such a cool way to get people engaged and involved with you. In fact, Jenna has a new one, which is what uh, type of Instagram influence you, influencer you are, Instagrammer you are. So it's a really neat uh, quiz. I took it the other day and it's going to help me a lot. So I hope you see that the quiz needs to be fun, but also provide useful information to those who take it uh, because you're wanting to build trust. And uh, so you do want to have something available that they can go to. And I suggest uh, theming it. So with my introvert flavor, I themed it over coffee and different coffee flavors and what type of coffee you might be based on your introvert flavor because I love coffee. So it's a lot of fun. So once you get your topic, you then want to research it. So I went to, um, I, I googled what are the different brand personalities and I found two great articles on it that pretty much had the same type of personalities that have um, been identified based on research. So even though it's more for fun and to get the email, you still want, again, for it to have useful information. So you're not gathering scientific data. You know, it's a lighthearted way to get opt-ins. Once I did that and got my research, got everything ready, I pretty much wrote out the question on a you know, piece of paper or in my notes and then the possible answers based on introvert flavors. I think I have maybe eight questions. Uh, you know, keep it very short, very simple so that it doesn't take longer than a few minutes. And so I get all of it outlined and all of it figured out. Then I have to create the um, uh, results email, the results PDF, or the results link. 
So I did all of the above. I went to my website and I created a page for each introvert flavor that had all of the information on the website and then they had a link where they could download the PDF of that same information. And then also once they got the results or, or got done with the quiz, then they click give, uh, give me my results or something like that, get my results. Then they also got an email that had the same information in there. So uh, I had a link like, you know, if you want to download the PDF, click here and that got them to my website. And using this, I gained a thousand followers in a month. So it's a great way to build that list. Also, what I included, and some of you have taken this quiz, so you probably saw it, but in the email, I had five blog posts that I felt would be beneficial to that particular flavor. So some were the same across the board, like uh, why introverts are genius at sales. Others weren't. They were specific to that type of introvert. So I had five blog posts that they could then go and do some further reading and education. And then you create the quiz. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you put it on your website. Now, let me switch down to the website um, that I'm going to use. It's tryinteract.com. But let me show you how... I position it on my website. So I use Squarespace and it's right here, this bar. Got five minutes, take the introvert flavor quiz and learn how you do business. So if they click there, they'll get it. Also, if they need, uh, if they go down to resources, there it is there. And then if they go on down, there it is here. So I, I position it all over my website. Uh, and then also I have where a little mini course where you can increase your persuasion skills. Um, so anyway, that's uh, how I positioned it. These bars are great. Putting it in resources, putting it in multiple places, and even having a pop-up is a good idea. Okay, so you want to sign up. They let you do it for free. I'm going to go ahead and log in since I already have an account. And you can see that I've got uh, what's your introvert flavor right there? I also have a you are here success map that I created that people can take and then this is my original So I have two where this is branded for a certain page and then this is branded for another page um, So you can also if I'm not mistaken you can duplicate a quiz So once you create it, you can just duplicate it. I'm gonna start from scratch and I'm not going to develop my entire quiz because I haven't organized it all, but this one will be a little bit larger because there are, I believe, 12 different types. I printed uh, everything out. So I'll probably do just two questions. Yeah, there's 12 types. Okay, so uh, let me show you the website um, that I am using. Let's see, where is my genius communication? And then quiz creation. Hmm, maybe it's back a little bit. Let's see. Okay, it's kind of like you know how you're looking and you know you're staring at it. Okay, let me go here. Because I want you to see what I'm using. Okay, so I found this great article at Post Funnel, which, by the way, they have really good stuff. And it has each brand personality divided with their goal, their philosophy, and their fears, and then the prime example. So I'm literally going to take this information and use it as my categories. So I'll have a goals, I'll have a philosophy, I'll have a fear question, and then um, you even use your example of Victoria's Secret. So I'm gonna go here to create new quiz. And let's just look at Hmm. 
let's do branding. Okay. What kind of video creator are you? What's your brand style voice? Where are you in your journey? How personal? What is your brand currently? What's your brand style? How strong is your brand? Hmm. I'm definitely going to want four questions, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this quiz and let's see what it looks like. Nah, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go from scratch. Okay, so let's go back from scratch. Uh, let's do personality. Okay, so we're going to put are you. Okay, so this is a title. And then I want a cover image. So I'm going to go into grab an image, choose file. And I've got some pictures on my desktop. So I'm going to look at those and see if I like any. Um, I like this one. Let's just choose this one. Oh, it's too big. Okay. And see, the reason I like going through this stuff live with you is because you run into stuff like this and you need to know what to do. Okay, I'm going to go down. Ah, that'd be fun. And I'm going to keep my colors and my style similar to my website, but it doesn't have to be completely. I'm really liking this, even though there's no yellow. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stay away from that. And I'm going to go on down to this one. Okay, so I'll do like a boss. I'll, I would probably go back and resize the photo I originally wanted, but for now, I'm going to choose this one, and then we'll upload the image. Okay, so I'm going to get it where I want it, crop and save. And with this picture, I can make this yellow, which is, uh, you know, part of my, my colors. Okay. So then I'm going to type, and you want to put stuff in here that will grab people's attention. So um, let's see. What can I put? I might go back over here and might put something like, is, let's see, is your brand truly memorable. Okay. Then we can have the take quiz. I am going to want to change the color of this. So I'm going to go to styles and see over here on the left where it says button color. I'm going to grab my colors. I keep them in notes and I'm going to grab this yellow. I could do teal, but again, I love yellow. It's a happy color. I'm going to paste it. There we go. So you want yellow, orange, or even red um, because they're action colors. Okay, so I've got my quiz title, my cover image. Um, actually, let's put what makes you memorable. What makes, let's see. Mm, how can we phrase this? Um... Let's see. Learn what makes you memorable, what makes you unforgettable. Let's do that, unforgettable. Okay, because people don't want to be forgotten, so that will grab them. Okay, so then I'm going to go down here to the results thing, this, this section right here, and oops, I don't want multiple results. And I'm going to say result number one is lover. 
okay? Because that's one of the brand personalities. So this is where you'll put the result, not the question. Then I'm gonna go over here to unsplash.com and I am going to grab a picture. Okay, so again, I want it to go with my theme and I'm gonna scroll down through here and I am going to pick a color or a picture that will go with what I want. So that one may work. Oh, let's do this one. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to go back over here, click Edit, Upload, Choose File, go over to Downloads. Here it is. Oh, it's gonna be too big, dang it. Okay, so this is where I'm definitely going to resize because I want this one. So I'm gonna open it and it says that it needs to be uh, 700 by 400 pixels. So I'm gonna go back over into preview, adjust size, I'm gonna keep it in pixels and I'm gonna put 700 and then save. Then I'm gonna come back over here, choose file, grab it, choose, upload. Crop and save. Okay, add result description. I'm gonna basically put, uh, let's see, sensual, attractive, um, intimate. I'm going to put save, okay? Um, save. like it being on um, get more deets let's see click click for more deets save okay and I want it centered like that all right so here's the call to action and I'm going to leave it yellow and this is where I would put a URL to the web link that has their results, but it's also going to add them to my email. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so when people do my quiz. Okay, so let me just do it, do it for you real quick. Okay, I'm gonna just click all the top ones. All right, when it says view your results, this is where they put in their email. So you want the URL right here to go to this landing page, okay? So you want it to go to a landing page where they click get my results and they put in their first name and their email, submit it. You've already got it set up in your email provider like MailChimp or ConvertKit, they put this information in there and they immediately get the results in both email and you can also have it automatically open up the page once they click submit so they can immediately start reading. So this does not go to the actual page with the results, it goes to the landing page to get their email. So I'm going to say get my deets. Okay. So then we're going to go to result two, and this one's going to be the explorer. And then I'm going to put explorer. I love Unsplash, it's so cool. Um, so we might, since it'll probably appeal to women more, 
I'm probably going to grab a lady. Okay. Oops. All right. So uh, let's see how big this image is. Okay. It's still too big. I'm going to open it, adjust size, 700, click OK, save, go back here, click edit. And I just realized it may not be showing you how I resize my photos, so I will get that um, where you can see it in a second. Okay, so upload image, crop and save same thing and you don't have to put a result deal but adventure you could probably put adventurous but adventure and then um let's see uh bold pioneering Pioneer. Click for more deets. And I would actually probably make it a little more fun where I'd be like, you know, um, be bold and click below, you know, something like that. So get my deets. Okay. So basically, we've got the results. You would just keep up that process and um, add another result uh, for each uh, answer that your um, clients might uh, get. Okay, so now question number one is, um, let's see, goals, okay? So answer A would be, um, so for the lover, they like to create intimate relationships with audiences by providing premium elevated experiences based strongly on intimate connection, passion, and sensation. So you elevate your client's experience using intimate connection, passion, and sensation. Okay, and then that's for the lover, and then I would put the next one, which is the explorer. Um, Let's see, you create a new and exciting adventures for your clients. Something like that. I would probably um, be a little bit more fun in my language, but right now I'm just focused on showing you how this works. So this right here, it's goals. These right here are the answers. Then I'm gonna go down here, add another question. So this one is um, philosophy. Okay, so I would put, um, let's see, be sensual and in touch with who you are. And then for the Explorer, I would put be bold, independent, and pioneering. Take risks, even if alone. Okay. So you would continue to do that and then add another question to get everything done. Okay, now back to the questions. You'll notice right here, it says edit result correlations. So we'll click that and then this one goes with lover. This one goes with explore. So you would literally do that for each question and each result, okay? So then we'll go to philosophy and you have to do it for each question. So this is to lover, this is to explore, save, okay? Um, so we've got all of that. Again, you can go into styles and do, you know, different fonts and different things here. 
Um, let's see, take quiz. I want to make sure I've got everything right. Remember on results, it needs to take you to a landing page. Remember on your questions to edit the result correlations. And that is literally it. You would uh, can save and exit or publish. And so you would publish your changes. And this is where you would then put it on your website. So do you want it to be a pop-up? Do you want it to be an announcement bar, um, a Facebook ad for your quiz, or embed on your website or landing page or get your link? So probably what I would do is grab the link because I'm going to put it in that bar at the top or I'm going to put it in a pop-up. So really it just depends on what you want to do, but typically I get a direct link and um, associate it with a button. So that's it guys. I mean, that's literally it. You know, go to Unsplash, get your pictures, and then edit them as needed. So what I'm gonna do on scene two is I am going to um, show you how I edit my pictures. Okay. Okay, so let me get over here. Hopefully you can see it well. Okay, so let me transition. All right, so what I did is I downloaded the picture and I double clicked it in my um, window called uh, Preview. And that is on a MacBook, so whatever it is that you use on your Windows-based computer, you open it up and then I find where it says Adjust Size. And remember, on Unspl or on Try Interact, it is uh, 700 by 400 pixels. So I put 700. I don't worry about the height. I really don't care. And then I click File and Save, and that's it. Uh, I then upload it, like I showed you guys, and voila, you got amazing pictures for free. You have your quiz. You've got these awesome answers. You get on your website and just start collecting those uh, emails. And it's a great uh, way to use um, your quiz to get emails with a Facebook ad. So create the ad where people will click on it and wanna go and take the quiz. So it's that simple. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM me. I am happy to help you. And now it's time for me to hit the gym. Have a good night.